Hey guys, I've been doing a lot of videos on the system, so I want to do an update video on the peppers. Uh, this is uh, update day 63 since they've been in the uh, aeroponic rails. As you can see, the growth has been great, explosive, it's like a jungle. Um, I'm going to go through a little quick update, hopefully not too long, sometimes my videos get a little lengthy. Uh, but we're at day 63, uh, peppers are doing well. Real quickly, we have switched um, over to the uh, high pressure sodium bulb, see up there? So, you know, we were done vegging and got into the flowering and uh, uh, getting into the more red light for the flowering and the fruiting. Um, so what we have here uh, is a lot of peppers. Uh, I'm learning quickly um, how to what peppers got big, which ones are shorter, busher. I should have paid a little more attention to what I was growing because now I end up with uh, quite a few that I should have grouped together. Like these are some smaller bush peppers here. I should have grouped them better with the big dippers over there. So I'm getting some blocking out and some crowding. But uh, overall I'm real happy. Um, I'm, I'm struggling a little bit with reservoir temperatures in the garage here because you know where I live uh, the summers or the spring it gets very warm so uh, but overall I'm happy let's take a look at some of the peppers uh, we'll just go through briefly and look at some of the uh, peppers that we have There's quite a few uh, those are uh, bush bell varieties right there I uh, got a little another bush bell there uh, here's some uh, different bell peppers coming in. I'm not quite sure which kind of bells those are. Um, we'll duck down under here. Hopefully you can see up in there. These are the big dippers. Got quite a few of them coming in. Uh, there's some nice cubanellas hanging. Um, see if I can get you in on the big dippers this way. Some of these are a little difficult to, you know, a little difficult to get to. And it's a little tough without should have kept a light on up here Let's see if you, you'll be able to see up in there got quite a few nice big uh, baseball size big dipper bells growing in there um, pepper wise I'm pretty happy here's some uh, long uh, banana types peppers um, we got some uh, Marconi's Marconi type peppers growing in here various uh, Marconi's hopefully this video isn't too choppy for you guys because I know it's tough here <laughs> it's tough to get you guys in to see all the peppers that are in here there's some nice Marconi's uh, off in the distance back there if I could stay focused some more bananas um, everywhere you look basically I got peppers going now I think I could do better than what I have that's a giant Marconi there, a couple big Marconis twisted in there. There's a little guy up in there twisted. Um, you know, I think I could do better. i just been having some trouble on and off with uh, some blossom drop. You know, and I don't know if it's the heat in the garage. I've been watching my nutrients. And what I've noticed, as everyone knows, if you've been following my videos, I'm using uh, Pro Bloom, and what I've noticed is uh, the manufacturer recommendations that are on there are appear to be a little out of line. I'm sorry, a little too too heavy. Uh, it seems like the plants don't become real happy uh, with what they're recommending. So I've slowly been trying different EC levels. Um, real quick, here's Poblanos, which I take. I'm convinced I could grow these things anywhere. Uh, this little plant here, I don't know, got like 20, 30 poblanos hanging on it all over the place. Um, this plant, I keep trimming it down. It's just keeps wanting to grow tall. I'm trying to keep them low. Uh, there's uh, Anaheim chilies. Um, haven't got no luck with the habaneros yet. Like I said, I'm having some difficulty. There's a bunch of... Uh, Banana ramas in there. I don't know. You guys can see all the clusters of uh, bananas that are in there. Some more down in there. 
uh, some jalapenos tucked in there some nice pretty nice size jalapenos you know that's not a bad size jalapeno there um, but some of the peppers I'm not getting production out of and I'm just kind of wondering because I've noticed the blossom drop uh, depending on how I change the EC levels of the uh, plants so I'm still in the process of trying to figure it out it seems like almost that um, they they prefer an EC somewhere into the 0.8 to 1.0 which is not that high you know of an EC actually that seems to be where the peppers start forming the best so I'll have to get back with everyone on that to let you know um, also quickly you can see I got the light down low I got some uh, the uh, light is low to the canopy oh I've also added, started to add, let me back up so you can see, the uh, cable system with the yo-yo uh, devices, similar, that come down and then they just plant clip right in and then you can use um, that to keep the plants upright. I also have some plant ties, if you look in there, that white one right there, that clips in and will clip to the, uh, the branches. To, to straighten them up and sturdy them up right so I started putting those in because I'm starting to get some large peppers you know some of these are three foot range so I started hanging those in which is working out real well um, the only place I'm not going to be able to hang them is out in here directly under the lamp but I'm thinking they're going to be okay once I support the other ones they'll kind of lean out and we'll find out as the uh, get heavy with fruit I wish I could get in and show you I got some beautiful bells that are down in there it's just so packed in there I can't seem to get to them maybe another time um, also what I wanted to show you is uh, my little uh, tool here everyone knows I did buzz pollination with the uh, cheapo toothbrush but what I did here was drill the end I don't know if you could see it go all the way down through and drilled this part and put an insulation support steel rod in and uh, now it just made it like an extension for me because you know it's, it's it's difficult to get in there with your arms some places to pollinate so now I'll show you how well this works I'll demonstrate by sound here I'm sure you can hear that so all the way out on that tip it works very well now it's early in the day so I don't know if I'll get much let me see if I can line you up here right I don't know if I'll there's a little pollen there. I don't know if he was able to see it, but it works extremely well. Even just touching the branch really gets uh, things shook up. So I can, you know, reach in such places here, you know, pollinate. I could reach in as far as far in as the plant will go. I can reach and uh, see. I'll put it up here so you, you know, it really does uh, work. So. If any of you guys really need to get in there far on things, you know, this is the way to do it. Um, worked well. We'll see how long it lasts, you know, next get another one and then continue on. So basically here we are, 39 pepper plants. Um, if any of you got any suggestion about uh, EC levels uh, with uh, Pro Bloom. Oh, for those of you that don't use EC, let me see if I can get my stick here. For those of you that don't use EC, I'm using the uh, truncheon meter. Let's see if we'll get that on camera. Using the truncheon meter. So that EC I was talking about, a 0.8 to 1.0 on a 500 uh, scale would be basically four to 500 parts per million. I know it doesn't sound like much. Um, and also on the 700 scale, it's 560 to 700. And I am a little shocked because my other peppers were running, you know, in the range of like uh, 1418 and every time I try to take these up uh, they start just dropping blossoms and they're just no fruit wants to form when I leave it down low I uh, you know I get beautiful beautiful peppers forming everywhere so I don't know if you guys uh, ever heard of such a thing let me know and, and I really don't think it's got anything to do with the temperatures in here because the temperatures have swung and changed and I've monitored closely when the ECs kept at 0.8 or to 1.0, you know, like point, 
yeah, 1 0 to point, I'm sorry, 1.0 to 0.8, I just get peppers forming consistently. As soon as I take it up, they, they just start dropping the blossoms. So if anyone got some suggestions or some input here, because, you know, I'm running a lot of peppers. Unfortunately, I'm running a lot of different varieties, which is tough. You know, bells like seem from what i've read like more uh nutrition than uh you know the chilies so the hot peppers so i don't know give me some advice if you got some out there uh, any questions or comments please post them thank you very much to all new subscribers and all the comments uh, i know sometimes i'm a little slow answering questions but i've been very busy making some more systems uh for my house and i've also been building an outdoor kitchen so uh maybe we'll get some videos up on those things um you know, hope everyone's having a great grow out there, and I'll get another video out real soon uh, on the system. Some people were asking some questions about the plumbing, so I may be doing a plumbing video and things like that. I just wanted to do an update on the peppers, though. So there they are, day 63. Everything's growing great. Um, you know, hopefully uh, another you know month or so I'll have a nice harvest to put out, first harvest. Um, and we'll catch you next time, guys. Thanks.